Chris writes in, he says, I have recently switched from my tr trusty 2012 Mac mini server with 16 gigs and a two terabyte SSD to an M2 mini base model with eight gigs and 256 gigabyte as an interim solution until I can get an M4 mini with 24 gigs and a two terabyte drive. I have all of my data on an external Samsung 2 terabyte SSD, including my large photo library with over 65,000 photos. Is there a way to set Mac OS to also use my documents and downloads folder on the external SSD instead of storing it on the internal drive? Best regards, Chris from Houston. So uh, the safest way, and, and I'll, I'll define safest as a way that uses Apple technology and things that exist in Mac OS would be to re relocate your entire home folder to an external drive, moving just your documents or your desktop folder. I, like I don't, there are no official ways of doing that. And everything that we've heard of where people have tried has kind of failed. The, the, the exception to that is where you leave all of the sort of default folders where they are. And then on an external drive, you create a folder like, you know, Chris's documents, and then just choose to make that the default place that you store your stuff. And that's fine. And you could even put a folder in your regular documents folder that, you know, just says like star, 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 don't save here. Just to re visually remind you as you're going to save things like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to change the default for whatever that app is to over there. And if you do that, obviously, that's fine. But uh Otherwise, if you want your desktop folder over there, relocate your entire home folder. And believe it or not, it's 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 doable. There's a life hacker article that we are going to link to. Uh, sorry, a LifeWire article that we'll link to that still walks through the correct steps. It's a few years old. The screenshots don't look exactly like what you'll see in Mac OS 15, but the steps are still the same. And that is you go into system settings, you go to users and groups. You right click on your user account and then go to advanced options, which is an advanced options dot, dot, dot. It's the only thing that appears when you right click on your user account and you can, you can set the location of your home folder. This does not move your home folder. You need to do that separately and preferably first, and then you can change the location of it. So if I were going to do this, I would create a secondary admin account. I would log out of my first account, use the secondary account move the data over whatever I needed to do, then use the secondary account to change the prop the property of where the home folder lives for the first account, then log back in and, uh, you know, keep my fingers crossed and knock on lots of wood. Uh, but I know people that have done it and it works, but you know, your mileage may vary. I, I see Adam <laughs> laughing at the benefits of doing don't this show with video. Do it. Uh, don't do it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> 